Welcome to DPD, your course on digital product development. You will become a designer of products, services and systems increasingly involving digital technologies, network, data, code, business models and also development processes. As a designer, you must offer credible and understandable solutions to your development team. How? Well, that's in a sense what DPD is about. How to evaluate network technologies, model data, design software, how to craft a business model, play a vital role in the development process and also how to take responsibility. I'm Jackie Bourgeois an assistant professor here at the TUDEV of data-centric design and most importantly a member of the DPD team. This video will introduce the course, I'll explain what the study intends to bring, how you will work and with whom, and what you should do to get started. DPD provides the structure for you to learn digital knowledge and skills. By engaging in the course activities, you will make your way through the knowledge you want to nurture and the skills you want to develop. We set up the condition for you to safely explore and make your own experience while also getting inspired by the work and insights of your classmates. Ahead of each week, I suggest logging on Brightspace and checking what is expected for the upcoming module. We compile a list of suggested activities to help you structure your week. The best way to illustrate the course reason is to walk you through the typical activities of a week. It's Monday morning, 8.45, it's an exciting week ahead. You join your teammates in your studio. Each studio works on a different product context. On Brightspace, via the weekly checklist, open the group exercise. Each exercise comes with a printed canvas that we've made available for you in the studio. The exercise description walks you through the activity. There is no coaching in this course. You complete the exercise independently and a teacher will visit your studio but to discuss the exercise from the previous week. If you have questions, this is likely relevant to all the groups. Check on the Brightspace forum if someone already asked your question. Otherwise, just create a new post with your question. By 11.30, you synthesize your work in three parts. Conclusion, reflection and remaining questions. This is the most important. What do you conclude and why? Why did you learn? And what are the questions that remain unanswered? You submit this wrap-up on Brightspace via Feedback Fruit. This leaves you until 12.30 to look at the submissions of the other groups in your studio and provide them with feedback. A teacher will also provide you with written feedback for each group. Remember that you must submit your conclusion in time to receive the peer feedback and the teacher will only offer you feedback if you provide feedback to your peers. During your self-study time, we compile a series of videos to watch and a book chapter to read. You make this an active experience by sharing your reaction and questions with the other students on the Brightspace forum. This is important for you to succeed. It helps you to check your understanding and to get inspired by questions from others. Feel free to do these self-study activities before or after the group exercises when best suits you. Your self-study time also involves practicing your programming skills in collaboration with DP2. There are five programming tutorials for you to work on solo and then in pair later in the course. These programming skills are vital for you to acquire as it helps designers to prototype first and second to work effectively with the development team. At each stage, take your time to think about the task independently. 
And like all the activities, you can post questions on the Brightspace forum throughout the week. Our Python team will help you out. Do not hesitate also to respond to all the students' posts when you know the answer. Explaining to others is the best way to check your understanding. If you understand what to do, but your program is not giving the expected results, click on the provided solution to compare it with your code. The programming tutorials always end with extra tasks to explore by yourself. So be proud of your achievements and share your code and output on the Brightspace forum. Wednesday at 1.45, we have our programming sandpit. Join us for a session full of interactive demos, exercises, code explanation, and Q&A. If you already know the basics of programming, please join us too. Explaining to all the students is, again, the best way to check and deepen your skills. Let us know if you would like to present your own work. At 3.45, we invite you to the digital playground. Together with experts and teachers, we will work on concrete digital product challenges with demos, discussions, and reflection on your group exercises. Throughout Wednesday afternoon, we will prompt you with the typical exam questions. This weekly reason might sound unfamiliar to you. We aim to put you in control of your learning. The activities, our support on the Brightspace forum and the plenary sessions on the Wednesday afternoon provide the structure for this learning experience. The more you engage with these activities, the better you will gain the necessary digital knowledge and skills for your career as designer. So that's DPD in a nutshell. You develop digital knowledge and skills by practicing solo and also in groups, getting rich from the inside from both your studio and the whole classroom community. What should you do next? Well, first, check out Brightspace and walk through the course organization. Then set up your Brightspace profile and say hello on the forum. I'm excited to invite you next Monday for the course introduction on campus at 8.45. Thank you.